Well, welcome back. The Queen City is known for its good neighbors and, of course, its good eats. Of course. So <laughs> now one local blog is trying to find the best dish you can eat in Buffalo. Buffalo Eats is a blog that's been writing about Western New York food for over a decade. In that time, it's won awards for best local interest blog and more. Joining us now is Mark Goodwin. He's a contributor to Buffalo Eats to talk a little bit about the search for the best dish in Buffalo. Mark, I took a, a look at this very detailed and lengthy lengthy list. So set yep. this up for folks who may not have seen this on social yet today. You guys have four categories, several dishes. How does it all work? Sure. So in the past couple of years, like the past decade, we've um, we've done a couple of tournaments, but we've kept it pretty like specific. So we did best pizza, we did best wings, you know, the classic Buffalo stuff. Um, but this one, I was just thinking, like, I just wanted to try and get a more diverse, you know, group of food in there instead of, you know, just pizza and wings. So I was just like, like, best dish that's got to go so we uh all eight of us all contributors we had a whole excel sheet going on of our favorite foods we probably had like over 100 listed then we like narrowed that down so we just tried to touch on places you know the big hitters like barbell and you know carbone stuff like that you know that everybody loves but we tried throwing like a lot of you know local smaller places people might not have heard of even in like their neighborhood um a lot of local food that people might not have tried before because that's the whole point of it the account that we try to do is just to really try to reach out to the community, really support the restaurant industry because we know how hard it's been for them the last couple of years. So um, I'd say that's like the main point of the tournament, just to try to find the best food in Buffalo and get people out of their houses and eat some good food. Now, can I just say it is torture talking it about is. this before I have eaten my dinner? Yes. <laughs> so it's funny looking at this tournament on Twitter. You have so many people who are like, what about this place? What about uh, this right. place? I can't believe this place isn't on here. How nope. hard was it to narrow it down? Oh, it's super hard. It, it, it was hard. And, and we knew like those um those comments would come too and like we have thick skin at this point because we've we've done a couple tournaments and uh so we we just really tried to put our best foot forward and we just tried to really just get as as much of a diverse you know group of restaurants as possible and we even today we were thinking like oh we might have missed you know this place but you know at the end of the day it was we knew a couple people would have you know well you left this out you left jim steak out out and, but it's okay we, we just have fun with it Mark, do you have any early favorites uh, among that list, either one in each category uh, or maybe a, a couple of top runners there? No, for sure, for sure. I, I love Toutons, Nashville Hot Chicken. I yep. I worked there for a couple months, so I just the, everyone there is awesome. And the another number one C is Bailey Who's Mac and Cheese. If if you're ever going to a Sabres game, it's right down the road. It's It's amazing. I don't, you know, it's just Mac and Cheese. It should be so simple, but it's, it is so delicious, I don't even understand it. I am a sucker for mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's great here. So we'll end out with this. What are the nuts and bolts of this tournament? How can people get involved and vote? So go follow us on Twitter and Instagram, um, at Buffalo Eats. Uh, um, and you just, we will release the polls around 10 a.m. every morning, um, usually just on weekdays because the weekends aren't as super popular on social media. But so just look out for us on Twitter tomorrow, 10 a.m. We're going to go live with the tournament and we're going to see who wins. All right, awesome. I'm excited to see who the big winner is. I am excited too. And you know what else about this, Mark, briefly, as Jordan and I were talking, it, in addition to the tournament, it really provides a good sort of roadmap for people to go out and try some of the best dishes at mm -hmm. some of the best restaurants in the Queen City. So kudos to you guys for not only getting people involved, but also getting local businesses involved as well. All right, of Mark, course. Mark Goodwin of Buffalo Eats. That is all the time we have. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks again.